Hey guys, how's it going? Tears back again, and welcome to episode number one of the interactive Road to Division 1 here on Chesnoy Gaming. It's January the 1st. Welcome to 2014, and welcome to a new series. Now, I do apologise straight off the bat that there is, in fact, one game already played on this account. I unfortunately must have played one game uh, as soon as Next Gen came out, so I do apologise for that. We do already have one loss on the record, but uh, we're jumping straight in against Ch or with Chelsea, rather, against PSG in this opening game. I, I asked for loads of suggestions from you guys in uh, the final Pac-Man game a few days ago and you gave me loads of suggestions in the comments uh, I had to, I just had to start with Chelsea though, I do apologise but uh, I just kind of had to feel my way into the new head-to-head -head engine etc by uh, by playing with a team that I was extremely familiar with so we went in and started this first game with Chelsea, we're coming up against PSG the guy I was playing against actually was from France I think, or at least he spoke French because his connect was picking up his voice when Ivra scored that free kick, he was going mental I couldn't understand any of what he was saying but it was actually going batshit insane because that is a fantastic free kick although you'll see from the replay Petacek really should have done better if you're going to get down to it you've got to keep it out but we come in towards the uh, the end of the first half here Eden has a set through just in case he's settling himself he's got plenty of time and space on the ball pops the ball into the back of the net and we retain our 2-1 lead but uh, he's actually going to get another one back he's going to come back to 2-2 here Levetsi in towards Cavani I can't clear it properly with JT and he makes the most of the mistake rifling the ball into the top corner to get himself back on level terms but we're going to go straight back up the other end just a couple of minutes later one matter question of offside as uh, he gets played through but he, again lots of time and space to be able to put the ball into the back of the net you'll see from the replay really not sure whether he was onside or not he just steps up at the last minute and uh, Sammy Eto almost ran in the way of me there I would have been absolutely furious if uh, he'd have gotten in the way and uh, actually been called offside if the ball had hit him but we were going to score a fourth here lovely turn inside from Miras finds one matter again picks up his second goal of the game again a really nice tidy first touch and finesse around the goalkeeper into the far bottom corner to give us a 4-2 lead but he wasn't done yet 4-3 it's going to be now as Cavani gets the ball lofted into him from Ibrahimovic possible into the top of the net nothing Petacek can do but there was nothing he could do for the rest of the game we do take a 4-3 win absolute goal bonanza seven goals in the opening game of the series absolutely fantastic now the first suggestion that I'd be using for this series is Valencia as you can see it was suggested by Fergus Campbell so thank you to you Fergus for uh, commenting that suggestion in the comment section of the Pac-Man video of course feel free to leave suggestions in the comment section of this video for teams you want me to use in future episodes but we're coming up against Valencia you can see the Mastaya looks fantastic on next gen a wonderful wonderful stadium a few friends might have actually been and I'm super super jealous because I would love to go to Valencia of course as a team as a club in real life they've recently just had huge investment from uh, from from a banker 350 million pounds i think is the investment going into the club to pay off all of their debts and i think they're going to set aside 40 million for new transfers so keep an eye on valencia in january and or in the summer for big big names either going to valencia or uh, being linked with Valencia at the very, very least. But he came close there through Musa Sissoko, and we'd already had a header with Helder Postiga coming uh, coming close, flashing over the top of the bar. Going to get another chance here. Jonas into Postiga again. It's a great turn on Colaccini. A lot of space. Perhaps could have taken it a step further on, but I, uh, I'm i always wary with Postiga because he isn't the fastest, so I didn't want to overdo things. Decent save from Tim Krull, though, and he's going to make another crucial one here. Faguli probably should have lifted that over the goalkeeper, if I'm being honest. It's a mistake from me, and uh, we really had a great chance there to go 1-0 up but we went in at half time at 0-0 we'd been all over in first half he had that one shot with Musa Sissoko that was the only thing he had to shout about but of course as you may expect moving into the second half really don't know what the defender was doing he just stopped running then he gets a a random deflection from the goalkeeper and uh, fortunate for him falls back to Lurk Remy's feet and he's able to put it into the back of the net I was so so infuriated with the fact that I read the lob through ball and the defender just stopped running and uh, then he got the luck and we don't get the luck we get a, a shot deflected off the goalkeeper there and this time Tim Krull gets it to safety rather than Diego Alves for us pushing it towards the striker again and Jonas is going to break into the box here another good save from the goalkeeper again it falls to another one of our players but this time again we just don't have the luck in this game it just couldn't fall nicely for Guardado again Helder Postiga's let in another good save from Tim Krull he's absolutely keeping him in this one it was almost exactly like the game in real life when Newcastle played Tottenham they 
Tottenham absolutely hammered Newcastle, but they just couldn't find a way past. That time I got the ball past the goalkeeper, but the tip from Helder Postiga went wide. So unbelievably disappointing. And unfortunately, we take a defeat from our second game in the series, although it really wasn't deserved. But uh, nonetheless, we're going to head into the next game. Now, uh, of course, as you can see, we're playing as Southampton. And this one was suggested by Tricky11500. have to say a huge thank you to you for suggesting Southampton. I was a bit nervous going into this one, considering we're coming up against Liverpool. It's a bit of a mismatch in uh, in player uh, ratings, etc., with the, the ability of Luis Suarez, etc. But we were going to get off to a great start. Lallana, decent shot. This time, the luck goes in our favour. And uh, the ball falls straight to Victor Wanyama's feet. And he's able to put the ball into the back of there. And we get an early lead. James Ward-Prowse, lovely ball around the corner for Jay Rodriguez. Has the pace to get away from Mamadou Sarko. Wonderful finish across the goalkeeper into that far bottom corner. And it's 2-0 after just 11 minutes. We weren't done there. Just 10 minutes later, James Ward-Prowse again involved. Going to play the ball through to Rodriguez. Weird first touch. He kind of popped up off his left foot. And I tried to volley it before it hit the ground. But unfortunately... Kind of just kind of took the touch forward before striking it but it didn't matter it still flew into the back of the net and 22 minutes in we're actually 3-0 up against Liverpool and you would say it was a shock lead Liverpool against Southampton but uh, Southampton have been fantastic in real life so far this season so it wasn't perhaps as uh, surprising as it may have been and as we pushed into the second half we were looking to just kill the tie off Adam Lallana is going to cut inside nice Ronaldo chop shrugs off the defender and uh, unfortunate not to see his shot go in Mignolet palms it straight to Jay Rodriguez to round off his hat trick Put us 4 0 up in the 74th minute, and of course, as you may expect, that bought the rage quit. So that's going to bring this first episode of the Interactive Road to Division 1 to a close. I'm not sure whether I'm going to call it the Interactive Road to Division 1, or whether I'm going to call it your Road to Division 1, because it is your go it is you guys that decide where we go with this series. So of course, feel free to leave me a comment down below in the comment section which teams you would like to see me use for episode number two. Now this series will be coming to you every Wednesday and every Saturday so uh, the next one will be coming to you in a couple of days time. Of course we'll have career mode Thursday and Friday this week but if you were of course on the end slate you won't be able to check out the previous episode because there wasn't one. This is episode number one but feel free to follow me on Twitter at Chesnoy Gaming. I'm still looking for questions for my uh, my 4k Q&A video so feel free to tweet me at Chesnoy Gaming using the hashtag ChesQNA and then of course if you aren't subscribed to the channel feel free to do so already uh, Feel free to do so. There will be a link to do that in the uh, in the description and an annotation on screen, in fact, over the uh, over the little emblem there on the right hand side. But that's going to bring this episode to a close, guys. Please feel free to leave the video a like and show support for this new series. Uh, it would be very much appreciated. And of course, I will see you next time.